Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Sorry, I've uh, kind of been slacking off a little bit. It's because I've been working on my own uh, personal project over here. So, this guy had asked me how uh, poses uh, or what layer poses were blended on. And so I thought I would do a quick breakdown on this. The uh, quick answer to that is that the overlay uh, states are played on every uh, bone. So they're blended for the arms, the legs, the head, the spine, and the pelvis. Now how this works and how, how it works inside of here is you have your base pose, your base poses, and that base pose comes from here. This is your base pose for standing. This is your base pose for crouching. Now if we go back, you'll see that the base layer, base layer is all your locomotion. All your locomotion is played in the base layer. So going back, they're getting they're adding the locomotion to the base pose because for to make a dynamic additive or to do any kind of additive, you need an input pose. They're doing this so uh, for the sole purpose, I believe, to uh, decide or to split this up into mesh space and local space. And the reason why they're doing that is because as they say down here, right here, they pretty much sum it up pretty, pretty well. But uh, the short answer to this is that they're doing this because the arms work better with local space than mesh space. So, and the rest of the body work seems to work fine with mesh space. So that's why they're doing mesh space. So if you'll notice right here, we have our base additive local space and mesh space. Here's our base additives and mesh space. And here's our base additives and local space. And they're adding that to our overlay state. So if you get an overlay state, just any overlay state. You can go to the overlay layer, expand it, expand overlay states, and you can choose any one of these. In my case, I'm just going to choose binoculars. And they're getting the idle pose. And I'll show you the idle pose. This is the idle pose. The right leg is slightly back, and his arms are down. That's when he's not aiming. When he's aiming, it'll be 0 .08. That's the same uh, pose, but or the same stance, but he has the binoculars held up to his eyes. And then for movement, he uh, has both feet uh, aligned properly to each other, and he's he's still holding it for that one. And they have one also. You see, they have this is the movement uh, when he's not aiming. When he's moving but he's not aiming, that's uh, this pose. And that's why you'll see that he has walking, running, sprinting, idle pose. And he's just blending that based off, off the weight gate. The weight gate gets set on each of the animations that uh, control movement. So for the walking forward, it should be one. See? Sprinting, it should be three. And running, it'll be two. So if he's not moving, it'll be zero. If he is moving, it'll blend the walk run. Uh, same with uh, this. Not moving, moving. But he does another one right here where he actually clamps it. And he uh, does the bias as negative two. Which will make it zero if it's uh, if he's running, or walking, and one if he's sprinting. And then for this one, he's uh, blending in the he's adding the aim as an additive, the aim offset he's adding as an additive to this, so that you can look up and down and around. Or well, mostly this is so you can look up and down, and then. The aim offset behavior in the anim graph uh, controls the rest 
the, the tur twisting and turning of the spine. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So you have your overlay layers and they're playing on every slot. We're, we're adding the uh, locomotion to those overlays. And then, and then we're uh, blending that between uh, no overlay and overlay based off of our laying arm. And that gets set on things such as uh, mantling, for example. You'll see that it gets set to negative one. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. But basically, uh, if he's holding something in his left hand, it might turn off the... Uh, it might turn it off right here for the right hand so that he can uh, swing his hand back and his right hand back and forth while he's running and then all these are being just added blended back together so the legs get blended in with the spine I mean the pelvis that gets blended in with the spine all that with the head and all that with the left and right arm and that's how that works. So it, I hope this was helpful to you guys. If y'all have any questions, uh, feel free to ask uh, down below. If you have any requests, let me know. Uh, just I've had some people ask me to do some stuff for ALS on characters that cost money. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have that kind of money to just throw around on assets. So... I can't do that. If uh, the asset costs money, unless you want to buy it to, uh, for me as a gift, then I'm probably not going to do it. But if I have it, if I've already bought it, then I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there to you guys. Uh, try to keep your requests reasonable. I am in the middle of working on a project, and I'm just really getting started on it. So uh, I I am a little bit more limited to in my time than normally so anyway yeah i hope this helped you guys uh anyway you have a good day